Hi, my name is Jason with MDI, and today I'm going to give you an in-depth review of the updated 7800 gimbal made by Kame TV. Now, Kame TV has come a long way since the first gimbal we received. The 7000 that we received was a complete do-it-yourself kit that took quite a few hours just to build the thing, then you had to balance the thing, and then you had to use software to tune it so that it would react quickly. Uh, needless to say, it was enough to deter some people from even wanting to get a gimbal. Then came the 7500, which it came almost fully assembled. You just had to balance the camera and then maybe do a little software tuning and then you were ready to go. Then came the 7800. 7800 was pretty much all assembled. Uh, it also gave you a quick release plate, which made it a lot easier to balance your camera and basically just made the whole process much more streamlined and much faster. And then now we come to the updated 7800. It's almost a near toolless design, except for two points, which you still need a screwdriver just to get the camera balanced. The cables are pretty much all neatly tucked away, and it's pretty much ready straight out of the box. Just balance your camera and you're ready to go. As Came TV continues to update their gimbals, they have now added some more accessories that you can purchase in addition. First one being the new updated 7800s stand. Now the old stand was a thin foldable, you know, it was kind of flimsy, but it got the job done. This new one is much more sturdy. It raises the gimbal higher, which I think is actually easier to do the balancing of your camera and lenses. And we also did some crazy stuff with this too. If you check out this video below, we actually adapted this stand and we made it into a car mount and we hung the gimbal outside of the car. And it worked pretty well. If you have any crazy ideas that you've tried with the new stand, feel free to share it down in the comments below. Now, another thing that Came TV has offered is a nice traveling case for your gimbal. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty flat, as you can see, and all you really need to do is disassemble the stand, take the camera out, neatly fold the gimbal inside, and you're ready to take your gimbal to and from your shoots. As you can see, these updates to the gimbals make balancing your camera much easier than before. Check out these videos to see just how fast you can balance your camera. All right, so we originally had the 7800, the new version with a toolless design. Uh, it was originally balanced for the GH4, and today I'm going to show you with the toolless design how much faster it would be to adapt to a completely different camera. So we're going to be putting the A7S on this gimbal. So first thing is we get it on the quick release plate just to see where the tendency is. All right, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move this a little bit back and forth just to make sure it's not, you know, that this uh, tilt part is not swaying one way or the other. Have that. All right, we lock it down. Now the first thing is it's obviously pitching off to this side quite a bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen in the back. All right, that's kind of working for me so far. It's pitching backwards now, so I'm going to slide the camera forward. All right. Feels good. Okay, so what this is telling me is it's um, a little bit heavy on the bottom, so I'm gonna have to move this up so that it kind of gets a little bit more leveled. And this is the part where it's not toolless, so you're going to need yourself some kind of Allen wrench. There are four screws on the side that you're going to have to adjust. So just loosen them up just a little bit so that you can move the bottom. And we're just going to slide it up just a little bit. Once you have that, just tighten maybe two sides for safety. All right. All 
All right, not too bad. And there you have it. Pretty much adapted very quickly to the A7S. All right, so if you yourself want to use the A7S for with a 7800 uh, gimbal, these are your markings of approximately where you're going to need to balance your A7S if you're using the 16 millimeter pancake lens. Um, if you are adapting your GH4 with either a 14-140 lens or the 12-35, to these are the approximate markings on your cage to have a balanced GH4. While the updated Came TV 7800 gimbal does offer a much faster setup time in terms of balancing your camera, there's still two points that I think could help make the process even faster. And the first one is adjusting the base plate. These could probably be swapped out with a D-ring, just like similar ones on your tripod, and that way you don't have to use one of these screwdrivers to uh, loosen it up. The next part is adjusting the cage. It's still not a toolless design. As you can see, there are some screws that require Allen wrenches to adjust the cage up and down. Once you've made these two parts uh, toolless, then I don't need to bring this with me anymore. I can just balance this thing anywhere I go. So that's two points that I would like to see improved. Another improvement I would like to see is some stronger motors on these gimbals. Obviously a stronger motor gives you more motion compensation when you're operating the gimbal, giving smoother videos. Another thing I would like to see is a stronger yaw bar up here, and here's why. Take a look at this. This gimbal is currently not on, but even if it was, this movement still happens, and it's basically because the yaw bar is um, two separate pieces. Now if it was a solid piece, it might actually be okay. Um, and this is just one of these motions that the motors aren't even going to be able to compensate. So I would like to see a stronger yaw bar. That would be great. Now, the last thing is a battery cover. Now, some of you might be wondering why a battery cover. Well, having a little battery cover or compartment would protect your battery from the elements. And then if you are on a paid gig with a client, this battery kind of sticks out like a sore thumb with wires running. And that's probably the last thing your client wants to see as it might give them the impression that you built this thing yourself. Overall, the updated Came TV 7800 gimbal is a gimbal that I can recommend. From its streamlined design to its fast setup time, it is definitely the best option within this price range. But if there is one thing that I could change about this gimbal right here and right now, is I would like to call it the Came 7800 Plus. Because the updated Came TV 7800 gimbal is just way too long for me to say at any given moment. So without further ado, check out this test footage from the new Came TV 7800 Plus. Let's give this a go.